All right, gentlemen, it's that time. Um, folks, you know what time it is. It's the time that it, with this podcast, I know you all look forward to. It's Greg's special exercise. That's Greg's right. Special exercise. <laughs> Greg's special exercise. Got a good one. Greg's special exercise. This is a great one. This is. I, I can't wait. I'm excited. I, I had to give you guys a heads up on this one because this required some prep, but we are going to do a five-round mock draft of Spielberg movies where we will select the movies of Spielberg that we get to keep with us and we get to watch for the rest of our lives. The movies we do not pick, either you guys, um, that, that you guys take, are not only we are forbidden from watching for the rest of our lives, but are disappeared from our memories. So we- They are lost uh, yeah. to us forever. That's right. You have no memory of seeing this movie or any line, any scene from it for the rest of your life. So we must pick carefully. Like tears in the rain. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So we I picked the draft it. order ahead of this episode. So I will be picking first. Uh, Ken will be picking second. Chris will be picking third, and there'll be a snake draft. And then Chris will pick first in the second round, then Ken, then myself. Mm -hmm. And I pick first in the third round, and we, we'll go for five mm -hmm. minutes. So I have the first pick. All right, Greg, break our hearts. All right. So um, this is really hard. This is really hard. Again, the movie I don't pick is disappeared from my memory forever. <laughs> Therefore, I really have to go with the movie that's in my Mount Rushmore of movies, a movie I have seen 30 times at least, one of my all-time favorite movies. This is my number one pick. Whoa! And I got it. Wow! I, I don't think it's making it to me wow. at the end of the round two. I apologize to Jaws. I, Jaws disappeared from my memory forever. I love Jaws. Jaws is also my pantheon, but Jurassic Park is Jaws wow. is one for me. Jaws is Jurassic Park is one A, just in terms of that genre, in terms of the suspense, action, you know, thriller kind of movie. I freaking love Jurassic Park and all the characters. Wow. You can't live without it. I have to keep it. <clears throat> Jurassic Park. So um I'm gonna be honest, Jurassic Park was seven on my big board. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So um thank you for doing that for me. <laughs> um and I you pretty much I just chance it. I couldn't change. Pretty much just guaranteed that uh, Chris and I are probably both going to get masterpieces. So uh, I'm just, Jurassic, uh, Park, Jurassic Park right. is a masterpiece. I hate to tell you. Yeah. All right. I'll. <laughs> I'm going. I'm, I'm just going to do away with the suspense. I'm going with Jaws. Okay. Um, that's right. my my number one on my big board. Uh, the movie that I've probably watched of his the most. Uh, maybe right up there with or. Raiders of the Lost Ark would be up there too, but uh, I, I just, I can't, I can't, I don't want to live in a world where I can't uh, have Jaws in my life. Right. Right. So, right. well, for Jaws. those, for those exact reasons, for my first pick, I'm going with Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, yeah. There it is. Um, all right. Number two. So, I'm basing this not on, so just so we know, because, because Greg, Greg was a little sneaky. Um, when we talk about movies that you keep, it's it's movies that I feel like are my favorites that I can rewatch a hundred times mm -hmm. and never get sick of and have a pleasure, a somewhat pleasurable experience watching these movies. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna make some controversial picks here. Oh, so yeah, you'll have one more pick. pick I, well, no, I, my next pick. You already took Raiders. So. Yeah, you already took Raiders. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Hook. What? Oh yeah. I don't, and I've I've said this on Twitter a couple times. I've said this publicly. I don't. I every time I watch Hook, I don't understand the hate for it or or why it is panned the way it is. Um. So, and I could watch that movie a hundred times. So, because I'm I'm also a, a doting father, so I get I get that storyline. It 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 affects me. Um. So you can't live without Hook. You gotta can't have live without Hook. Okay. Gotta take it with me. Wow. Okay. That, that threw me for a loop, and that wasn't uh, even on my board of fifteen. It's it's not it's it's uh, not even in my fifteen. So wow. Um, wow. thank you, Chris. There but you you're putting me in a tough spot because you picked Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I don't know how Greg feels about uh, the Last Crusade, and I have to have at least one Indiana Jones movie in my list. Mm -hmm. So. I have other movies ranked ahead of it. I actually have three movies that are still available ahead of it. So I, I, I'm going to take The Last Crusade 
Okay. And I'm going to be happy with whichever the one of the three, assuming Greg takes one of these three, um, I'll be happy to get the last one next round. So that was a good pick, Ken, because I probably was going to take it. Last yeah, okay, good. One of my two picks. Um, okay, so I feel pretty good. So this is a little bit weird because one of these movies, I'm not exactly like, oh man, I can't wait to watch this so many times for the rest of my life. But it's such an important movie and it really changed the way, you know, I saw this particular event. Um, you know, well, I'll just go, it's Schindler's List. I gotta take yeah. Schindler's List. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was one of my three. One of his, be- it's arguably his best movie. Like you can make an argument, Schindler's List is his best movie. Yeah, it's it's another masterpiece. Um, yeah. So you know, there's not much to say other than that. It just it profoundly changes you. You know, and yeah. I I, mm-hmm. I want to have that memory with me for the rest of my life. I don't want that disappear uh, from me. Uh, and then I'm gonna go. I I'm gonna go with Saving Private Ryan for a lot of wow. reasons. Okay. Like I said. Um, it is a great war movie. I'm, it, and um, the best battle sequence and it's a moving movie as well you know there's i know some world war ii people don't like it you know because it takes some liberties with a lot of things but you know what it's a movie first not a documentary it's a movie, you know and it's a great movie about world war ii so that all right is so with that those are two of the three that i had ahead of last crusade mm-hmm. uh and so the third one i'm going to take et okay nice so Excellent pick. Again, well, Chris, I cannot wait to see what comes up next. Again, yeah, so now, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Again, we're talking about movies that I want to watch the rest of my life with, with him and um, that I'll never and get that sick is the of. the terminal. <laughs> <laughs> and in all honesty, these really? are movies. No, no. Did I call it? <laughs> and these are movies that Ugh. I literally watch over and over again and can never get sick of because i find something interesting about these movies every single time i watch it uh, and i just love it so i am actually gonna go with amistad okay he's never really done a courtroom drama before right right and this is as close as we get to a courtroom drama with him it is so good it it, and no one talks about amistad i i think it came out in a really bad year you know oscar wise and it just you know it's obviously i don't think it's a story that attracts a lot of viewers but man go back and watch amistad that movie slaps it is amazing so there it is um don't know if slaps is right i was gonna say maybe not the bunch of adjectives the movie's fire uh, is for the kids for the kids i'm saying that all right my fourth pick number four and i can't believe i only have two more picks this is starting (laughs) to make them count because maybe thrown away too look here (laughs) i'm as much as I want to pick E.T. because I want that childhood. I mean, it's off the board. It's, it's off, off the board. board. You can't pick it. It's already off the board. I'm going to go with Catch Lost Me If You Can. Catch, Catch Me If You Can. Catch Me If You Can. Okay. First of all, it's one of my favorite Leo movies. It's actually one of my favorite Christopher Walken performances, period. Um, in a way, it's almost the most non-Spielbergian movie that he's done Like in terms of you watch that movie and it's like, he, there's like Spielbergisms in it throughout, but like in terms of the sequencing and things like that, there's a lot of stuff that's not. And um, yeah, I just I just love that movie. I've seen it 50 times and I can watch it 50 more. So that's my number four pick. Okay. Ken? Uh, ooh. Tough spot here. I think this is not a movie I necessarily love, but it's another one that uh, is just, he's making great movie after great movie. Uh, and it's right around the period of my favorite uh, uh, Spielberg, so I got to go with Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Mm, okay. So you can't have that movie disappear from your memory forever. Close Encounters. Hey, Greg, your last two picks. Make them count. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'm just hang on. I know. I gotta make them count. All right. Um, let's go with. We we'll go with Minority Report. Mm, I thought about that one. Yes. Yeah. Kind of hoping uh, you'd skip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just surprise. I, I know, Chris. You, I think you made some good points that Minority Report 
does have some classic Spielbergisms in there, you know, in terms of the father son relationship and, you know, sort of, you know, kind of the happy ending, but it is kind of a dark movie. But it is still like a, a pretty dark movie with some pretty really interesting themes that Spielberg doesn't really go near, you know, usually, especially when it comes to pre-crime and, you know, fate versus free will and all that stuff. Um, still a movie that makes me think I actually watched it the other day. Um, and still was just as good as the first time I saw it. Um, we'll see how rewatchable it is, you know, in 10 years from now, but that's not a movie I want to forget because that definitely makes me think about crime and a lot of different themes, um, you know, in a unique way. And uh, my last pick, um, this is probably not either your boards, but I don't care. I, I really like this movie and I don't want to forget this movie, Lincoln. I'm going with Lincoln. Mm. Mm. Uh, it was on my board. It was on my board. Yeah. Good pick. He, um, it's not really for Spielbergian reasons because this is the movie he did where it's kind of least like, I mean, there's some elements of Spielberg in it, but this is, he's, he's as hands off in this movie as you'll see in any of his movies that he does. Like he lets Daniel Day Lewis and all the amazing, uh, you know, um, character actors just cook, you know, in this movie. And this is really more of a Daniel Day Lewis pick than say a Spielberg pick, but it's just such a, for me, it's a really fun, rewatchable movie. Um, that's also interesting and very thought provoking. Some great performance, especially Tommy Lee Jones, too, um, and some great lines. So I want to keep Lincoln with me, you know, as I go through the rest of my life. So, nice. All right, Ken. All right. So one. I've got a couple movies ranked ahead of this one, but because of the stipulations where <laughs> if we if we don't pick a movie, that movie is lost to us forever. I'm gonna I'm gonna use. I'm going to go with the Fablemans mm. because mm. because there are so many callbacks to these other movies that he sprinkles into the yeah. Fablemans yeah. that I can still get a little bit of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I can still get a little bit of, you know, mm-hmm. the other movies that, that I've, I have been lost to me and my memory. So I'm going to go with the Fablemans. Fablemans is on my board and that would have been my pick if Minority Report or Lincoln wasn't taken. Wow. All right. Well, last pick. Um, my God, it feels like I'm picking one not to be sacrificed, and it's a lot of pressure. So with that, you can only save one. You can only save one. One person gets in the lifeboat. Um, so with that responsibility in mind, I am choosing between two films that are personal to me. Personal, like I get personal special feelings about i am gonna go and again controversial pick i'm gonna go with always now all movies always always it is a romantic dramedy it's not really a comedy it's not a rom-com but it's also not a drama movie with holly hunter at her finest richard Uh, dreyfus at richard dreyfusness and you get a great John Goodman performance in there as well. Um, it is the definitive firefighting plane, you know, movie, so to speak. You know, just guys who fly planes to fight fire, forest fires. Anyway, so he he made it as a love letter to his wife. That gets me. It's very romantic. Um, love that movie. I could watch it twenty times and I get never get sick of it. So there you go. So Chris is your wife listen to or watch the pod. Is that why you're she, picking? She is, and that she's she's Just standing to, behind to me. You can't point. see oh, okay. her, but anyway. But gentlemen, um, <laughs> so, can I recap? she's not in the spotlight back there. Greg, you recap, and then yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna announce what we're losing. Okay, what is what is lost? Oh, to okay. Ether. All right. So my five movies: Jurassic Park, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan, Minority Report, and Lincoln. Okay, good list. That's good. That's a solid list. Ken. A solid list. Jaws, Last Crusade, uh, E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and The Fablemans. Let's say Fablemans, the only one after, yeah, like after 1990, right? For me, yes. Yeah, right. For you, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Um, and, you know, it's funny. My roster, yeah, the earliest movie is Jurassic Park, I think. All right, sorry. Uh, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Your roster, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Hook, Amistad, Catch Me If You Can, and Always. I don't think Chris understood the assignment. (laughs) Colin picks all around. 
Greg, this is what... you, we need to post these on Facebook. We are we on Twitter. These. On Twitter, so people can vote. Yes, that's on exactly which roster cool. they like the best. Yes, people will exactly come to my do. roster. Uh, and, and... Chris is definitely coming in last place on this one. <laughs> but gentlemen, um, the, just so you know, this is what we're losing. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to lose Sugarland Express. Okay. Uh, 1941 is gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twilight Zone, the movie is gone. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, gone. Yeah. Yeah. Color Purple, out of here. Empire of the Sun, no more. Um, Lost World, uh, mm. AI, artificial intelligence. Mm. Mm. The Terminal, oh, that was a tough choice. I, I that was. Uh, War of the Worlds is gone. Munich, also gone. Munich is a tough cut. Yeah, that's a t- yeah. Yep. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Hey, goodbye. <laughs> Adventures of Tintin. Out goodbye. <laughs> War Horse. Mm, eh, good money. Yeah, that's a tough rewatch. Uh, Bridge of Spies. Out of here. Uh, yeah, BFG. Out of here. Yeah. The Post. That's fine. We got all. We had all the President's Men, so we're good there. Um, <laughs> Ready Player One. Not a very good movie. I disagree. I, no, I. I that's fine. I like, that's fine. It's on the top. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. West Side Story. We got the original. We're fine. I'm okay with losing that. So not a bad list. 